see. I haven't posted a video in quite a while. You guys have all been extremely patient. Um, I'm finally starting to feel a little better. Still having some of those itching issues, but um, not nearly as bad as it was. So I'm gonna try to start filming again. And I thought we'd kick it off with like a weekend vlog. So we are in the car. It's myself and Austin and Eric. And we are headed to Sam's Club, which I'm pretty excited about. We got the Sam's Club membership. We're probably gonna spend way too much money there, but um, it's something that I've wanted to try out for a while. So we're headed there to do some shopping. We're going to go for a car wash, um, a few other little odds and ends, and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. So let's go. Okay, so we made it to Sam's Club. We actually had a Sam's Club membership years and years ago. Like, how long ago? You said 15 years or so? No, it's not quite been 15. Um, we had it when we had the silver view, so it was 11. Okay. But this is our first time since renewing, or well, getting a new membership and uh, you know, things have probably changed in the last 11 years. So we're pretty excited to go in there, hopefully find some good deals and some snacks and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So we're just luck. I, we did choose to come on a Saturday at 1 p.m. So it's probably pretty crowded, um, but hopefully we enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So we already paid for the membership. The last time we were at Sam's Club, we had that silver Saturn view and we came out and there were six silver Saturn views parked all around ours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that, but I'll take your word for it. All right, let's go. Okay, so $300 later, we're done. It was actually less than what I thought. I'm gonna do a separate haul on my channel, so you guys can be on the lookout for that. But I'm excited about everything we got. Okay, my friends, so it is now Monday. So clearly I failed at the weekend vlog, but rather than scrap the entire video, which is what I was initially going to do, I'm just gonna roll it on into the week. So it is Monday morning. I am getting ready to make breakfast for myself here. Not really making breakfast, just kind of getting things prepped here. So I've got a light and fit Greek yogurt in the key lime flavor. Got a couple of mandarin oranges that I'm going to have and I'm making my coffee. Um, we got a new coffee maker. I'm actually gonna show you guys my whole like little coffee bar setup a little bit later. Um, once I kind of tidy it up a little bit and make it look all cute and aesthetically pleasing, but um, made a cup of coffee and I'm gonna have some of this. This is the International Delight Almond Joy Creamer. Uh, we recently discovered this and I'm obsessed with it. If you like coconut, you will love this. Um, it's not sugar free. I need to desperately get back on the Weight Watchers train because whilst I was sick, we did so much eating out. Um, you know, my guys did their best to stay on top of like the cooking and the housework and everything while I was sick. Um, if you missed that whole debacle, um, I had some sort of virus, I think is what we've kind of landed on what happened. Um, and I had these really awful white spots on my throat. They were terrible looking. Um, I'm not gonna post pictures or anything because YouTube will probably flag it as inappropriate, but it was, it was really gross. Um, and the doctors gave me antibiotics to treat the white spots on my throat. I originally had tested positive for strep, so they thought it was strep. Um, turned out later that actually that was a false positive, but um, the antibiotics they gave me, as far as they can tell, what happened was I had a really strong reaction to the antibiotics, and I ended up with this full body rash, um, really, really awful rash. I've still got um, spots that are healing from it um but it was like head to toe rash um and the worst of it was my hand oh yeah they're still they're much better now um they're healed up quite a bit but they blistered and the blisters burst and my whole hand was like 
both of my hands were like impossible to even bend and I couldn't do a lot around the house so the guys did their best to keep up with like the housework um, the cooking and stuff but you know they all have full-time responsibilities outside of the home my husband and my oldest son both work full-time my youngest son is in school full-time and has after-school activities so they did their best when I you know physically couldn't um, do things like cooking and cleaning and everything um, but we did a lot of eating out we did a lot of letting things go like I'm so behind on laundry my house is in shambles they did their best but they're not you know they're not mama so um I said all that to say that I need to get back on Weight Watchers because I'm pretty sure I've put on like 15 pounds and I was already at my highest weight ever um, we just did a lot of eating out my budget is in shambles everything's kind of in shambles but we're gonna work hard to kind of put things back together now that I'm on the mend I'm actually not a hundred percent better I'm still itching in some places uh, no telling how long that's gonna last but it's much better than it was um, so I'm just trying to kind of make the best of the situation I'm in um, but yeah for now I'm enjoying the almond joy creamer it's delicious and I'm I don't know if they have a sugar-free version probably not but it's really good. I'm rambling. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I'm going to have breakfast, and then we're going to actually get in the car and go run some errands. Um, with me being sick, everything has kind of been pushed back, and I just kind of realized this morning that Easter is this weekend, and I've done nothing to prepare for it. So I'm going to go and grab a few things for Easter baskets for my guys and figure out what I want to do for Easter dinner. Um and go and take care of that. Now I'm gonna take you guys along with me. All right, friends, well, it is actually later than I wanted, and I've got my head cut off here. Let's, is that any better? There's not really a good place to vlog in my car. I need to get one of those fancy car tripods, but um, for now, I'm finally headed out. It is 12:30, so later than I wanted, but um, I got caught up editing a video. Took longer than I want, I expected it to. So um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head out. I have to go to Meyer and I have to go to Walmart. So I'm picking up a few things from Meyer for Easter baskets, and then I have a pickup order from Walmart, just some like household stuff that I should have picked up at Sam's Club while we were there, but we thought we were stocked up on things, and then it turned out we weren't. So. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and run some errands. You guys, it is absolutely beautiful today. It's almost 60 degrees and sunny, and I'm so happy that spring is finally here. Okay, so Meyer was a madhouse, so I didn't take you guys in there. They've got, I don't know if you guys can see, construction happening at my local Meyer. I'm like all the way at the end of the parking lot, 5,000 people in there. But I was able to get my Easter ham, so that's one thing checked off the list. It was 89 cents a pound, so that wasn't the best deal, but pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go and do my Walmart pickup order. It's just like paper towels and paper plates that we needed. No, toilet paper and paper plates. So I'm gonna go do that. And then we're gonna head home and get everything unloaded before I have to pick up Austin from track practice. All right, you guys, quick Meyer haul. I didn't bother to pull out the Walmart stuff because I told you guys what that was, but um, I was able to get my ham, as I mentioned, and I actually, it was such a good deal, I got two. I got a spiral-sized ham for us to have for our Easter dinner. This was 89 cents a pound, I believe, so this is a 11-pound ham for 10.60, and then I also just grabbed a shank portion um, we'll stick this in our freezer and have it down the line. Um, we really like ham, so while it's on sale, I figured might as well. This was 79 cents a pound. I paid six fifty three, and this one is how many pounds, guys? Um, eight point two five. So pretty good deal there. Um, also, they had these on sale. Buy one get one fifty percent off. So I grabbed the bacon wrapped pork tenderloin. Um, pretty excited about these. I think these will be really great on the smoker. I grabbed some of these Driscoll's raspberries because they were on sale buy one get one free so I paid three dollars for the both of them. This is what I actually kind of went for 
wanted to pick up some more Nespresso pods. Um, I did get a Nespresso machine, which I'm so excited about. Um, both of my boys and I have been loving making lattes, so um, they really like these um, single shot espressos. These are the only ones I can get locally. Um, anything else I have to order from Nespresso's website. So I went and picked up a couple more boxes of those. I saw this. It's the Zero Sugar Coconut Cream um, Coffee Creamer from Coffee Mate. I showed you guys this morning that um, Almond Joy Creamer, which I'm loving. Um, but it's not sugar-free, so I went looking for a sugar-free option, and this was what I found. So they didn't have the Almond Joy in the sugar-free, but I did find this coconut cream, so hopefully that will be good. Did I need more coffee creamer? No, but that's okay. And then I also grabbed some chocolate milk. Again, we've been really enjoying lattes and things, and I um, thought that would be a nice addition for, like, um, chocolate lattes, mochas, whatever they're called. So got that as well. So I'm going to get this stuff put away and then I'm going to show you my little coffee setup. And um, I've got a bit of a dilemma I want to talk through with you guys too. Okay, so here is my little coffee station. So we did get the Nespresso machine, but in addition to that we also got a new coffee maker. This is the Ninja Dual Bro system. Dual Brew system, I think is what it's called. Um, this is what we originally wanted back I don't know when that was. When we bought the Keurig, I did a whole vlog on that as well. Um, but we couldn't find the Ninja system anywhere. There was a shortage of them. We settled for the Keurig. But recently, our bun coffee maker that we have at the camper died. So we needed to get a new coffee maker for the camper. We saw that they had this in stock. We decided to go ahead and get the dual brew system and have that at home. And we'll take the Keurig that we had to the camper. So... We got this. My husband's loving this. It brews grounds as well as K-Cups, which he loves. It brews um, a single cup with grounds as well, which our Keurig did not do. So he's really happy about this. We've been using it the last couple of days, really enjoying it. And then, of course, I got the Nespresso. I've been wanting a Nespresso for a really long time, so um, I found it on a good sale. We actually found both of these coffee makers on a really good sale. So I was really happy about that. So I got this all kind of set up, but I bought this thing. Here's the dilemma. I bought this thing to store my um, Vertuo pods, but it makes my coffee maker too tall. So I cannot open the top unless I pull this whole thing forward. So... I don't know if that's a deal breaker for me if I'm gonna mind like pulling it forward and then pushing it back every time I use it um, I will it will be nice to have the storage for the pods but I don't know I might end up returning this let me know what you guys think um, I really like the idea of having some place to store the pods and not having to store them up in my cabinet I don't want to get a second carousel we already have the carousel for the k-cups so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Like, is it really that much trouble to push it back and pull it forward? No. Um, I just, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But here's my little coffee station. So I have my Ninja dual brew system. I've got all of my syrups here. We've been really loving trying out different lattes with different sauces and syrups and things. So I got these pumps on Amazon really nice and handy to have all of these. So the ones I have are the Tarani cane sugar. This is for my husband. He, when he does an iced coffee, he likes it sweetened, but he doesn't like it flavored with like hazelnut or anything like that. So I got him the cane sugar so that he can do the liquid sugar, sweeten his iced coffees without, um, you know, you try to stir like granulated sugar into an iced drink it doesn't dissolve so we got him that and that one came from Amazon but the rest of these came from TJ Maxx which if you're ever in the market for something like this definitely check out your local TJ Maxx and um, Marshalls that sort of thing they've always got them on a good sale so these were $5.99 each we got hazelnut we got vanilla bean which is my all-time favorite ice cream flavor so I thought that the um, syrup would really be really good and then caramel, because I absolutely love a caramel latte. That's my all-time favorite. So 
we've got all of these guys and then I've got some up here in my cabinet too which needs to be reorganized but I've got some sugar-free ones up here so I've got salted caramel these are the Jordan skinny syrups I actually had a subscriber send me these one of my friends here on YouTube so um, I have salted caramel mocha we've got um, the Tarani butter pecan up here and some more of that cane sugar so plenty of options oh and there's one more back there that's the Jordan Skinny Syrups Vanilla, which is really, really good. So if you're in the market for um, sugar-free syrups, whether it's just because you're counting calories or you're like diabetic or whatever, the Jordan Skinny Syrups are really, really a good option. So that is all of my syrups. I've got a ton of sauces in my fridge too. We've been having so much fun making lattes and I'm actually gonna make one right now and show you guys how I do it. So I'm not like a latte expert by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm going to make myself a caramel latte and I figured I'd show you guys how I do it. So when I made my caramel latte the other day, the footage did not turn out. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I'm going to use my Nespresso machine to make a latte. You can see I did get rid of that little, um, drawer system. I just decided it made my machine too tall. It was too much of a pain. So I did return that. But I'm going to go ahead and get my machine going here. And I'm just going to use the Starbucks Blonde Espresso. I like a double shot of espresso, but I need to place an order with an espresso to get um, some double espresso pods. So for now, I'm just gonna do a single shot. I'm gonna use the blonde espresso. It's not quite as strong as what I like. Um, my kids really enjoy these. They're not my favorite, but they're easy for me to get. The only thing I can get locally, um, and like I said, I like to have them on hand for the boys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the button and get this shot of espresso pulled, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set up my cup. We're gonna make a little um, iced latte here. If I wanted to get um, a double shot of espresso, I could just do a second pod, or I could run the same pod through again. It would be a little bit less weak, but um, I'm just gonna do a single shot. I don't wanna waste the pods. Obviously, these lattes can get pretty expensive depending on what pods you're using, so um, I'm just going to use a single shot in my latte today. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my sea salt caramel drizzle here in my cup. I don't like a lot, just a little to make it look pretty in the cup. And I'm going to go ahead and add some ice and I'm going to do a pump just one pump of the vanilla bean syrup from Tarani um, I don't like it too too sweet but I do like some sweetness so I'm going to do that and half a cup of milk and then I'm going to add my Nespresso shot here All right, I lied. I gotta add one more shot of espresso. It's just not strong enough for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna top this with whipped cream and enjoy. And there you have it. All right, I'm here with Austin. We just got done doing some shopping. We went to Kohl's there 
and TJ Maxx. He needed some things for track. He needed some new shorts and a few other little odds and end clothing pieces. So when I picked him up from track, we ran and did some shopping, which was so nice. I love getting to spend time with this guy. Yeah. After midnight, still cannot sleep. What else is new? Just started watching Severance, and I'm like three episodes in, and I'm hooked. So you guys have seen Severance, let me know. I think, from what I hear, it's really, really good. So if I can't sleep, I might as well enjoy some quality TV. We'll try again.